Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today I have Cadassius with me. He's all very still now, but I've just woken him up. Yeah, so today Cadassius is with me. I've not had him out for a little while, um, just because normally the boys are a bit squiggly and, you know, they're not really keen on when I'm sort of filming and, you know, got the lights on and everything. I'm not really a massive fan. The girls are okay, but um, actually he's doing pretty good today. Asclepian, I will get him out at some point, but he really is squiggly and he really doesn't like the bright light and the camera and everything. So yeah, I will do it. I promise I will get him out because I know I always get the girls. I always get Athene, Apollonia and Estrella out, but... Um... <laughs> But yeah, so I thought I guess this little one out. He's been really good, been a really good boy. So yeah. So anyway, today I will be showing you how I will be fixing up my new terrarium for my new baby. Um, and I'll just be showing you how I clean it, the substrate, the furniture, the foliage, water bowl, all that stuff that goes into it. So yeah, I'll just be showing you all that today. So without any further ado, I shall just get on with the video. And thank you very much for watching. Please excuse my messy room. Um, I have just quickly hoovered it and stuff, but um, anyway. Yeah, so basically I've got this little terrarium. Um, I think this is by Komodo, yes it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just be cleaning that and I shall be cleaning it with lovely Bifa. I think that's how you pronounce it, Bifa. Deep clean spray and some kitchen roll, so yeah. I'll just get straight on with that. Do the lid first. So many nooks and crannies in this. There we go. As you can see, I've got my uh, trusty Lignacell substrate behind me. I've just noticed something on this terrarium. It's got little feet on, it's got six little feet on. So when I put the heat mat underneath it, um, it would basically be, this terrarium will be slightly raised away from the heat mat, which is good. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd mention that, but um, yeah, no, it's, um, it's looking good. And this is pretty much clean. So that's that sorted. So the next thing I'll do is put some of this uh, substrate into here just so it's all ready to go. So that's all in there, it's looking lovely. So yes, I will just go and get some uh, furniture and little bits and bobs, but before that I will show you. This is the heat mat um, that I'm gonna be using. It is a seven watt, um, and I got this from Swell Reptiles as well a long time ago, but um, but it still, it still works, still does the job. So that I will be basically placing underneath can't really see that but yeah so it will be kind of placed underneath like that and I will also have a thermostat to like obviously uh, gauge the temperature and and just make sure that it's not too hot not too cold and you know I sound like Goldilocks now but yeah so this is the um, thermostat that I shall be using it is Swell Reptiles thermostat all my snakes have these it's great quality and it's reasonably priced as well so I'll just get that out and show you. So basically you've got the control here. Um, obviously it's got all the numbers on it for the temperature and whatnot. Um, you also have the probe, which is there. Um, and you put that obviously on the heat mat, under the heat mat, you know, however you decide to do it. Plug and socket. So yeah. Um, I obviously the heat mat gets plugged into there and this gets plugged into the mains and that's it really so um, it's fairly straightforward and easy to set up so uh, yeah so I've been looking in amongst all my bits and bobs that I've got and I found this lovely little water bowl so I'm going to wash that out and put that in there 
Um, I've also got this hide as well. It's like a medium sized Exo Terra one, but yet again, I'm gonna wash that. Um, found one of these as well, little teeny tiny hide, so that'll be good. Yet again, I probably got that from Swirl Reptiles, but I cannot remember. Um, I've got a feeding dish as well, because um, when I, yeah, I'm not gonna say any more than that, because it'll give it away, so. But yeah, with this um, little baby that I'm getting, um, I think they will do well to have a feeding dish, but yeah. <laughs> And I've also got this hide, which was initially for Australia, but it's actually a bit too small. So um, it's too small for her. So it will probably do well in this one. <laughs> so yeah, so basically I'm just gonna clean all these. Sorry about all this rubbish back here and blah. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna clean all those up and make sure that they're all clean and sterile for uh, the new little babby. <laughs> So I've just realised I didn't have my ring light on to light up what I'm doing, but I have now. So anyway, um, I did clean all of those little bits and bobs. So this water bowl, I've cleaned that. So I'm going to pop that kind of in the middle, but to one side. Like there, I think. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Um, this wooden thing, I'm going to give it a spray and put it in, but as I say, not just yet, but I will. Um, this has also been cleaned, so I shall be putting that in. I think I'll put it on this side. Okay. Move that water bowl a bit. I have also got this feeding dish, but that will just literally come out when, you know, um, my baby needs to be fed. Um, I've got this as well, which I forgot to mention before. Just a little bit of foliage for um, for them to hide in and whatever. So I think what I'll do is I'll just dry that off, and then um, I'm just going to literally like lay it across. I'll just have it on one side because obviously it's quite a long sort of fake foliage plant thingy. Yeah, again, I think I got this from Swell Reptiles because everyone knows that is my favourite place to shop for snaky stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to clean this, get on with cleaning this, um, and then I can put it in the tank. I'll leave that to dry and then I will put it in, so yeah. I did wash this hide, but I don't know. Maybe I won't put the wooden one in. I'll leave that for now. I think I might just put this one in for the moment um, and then I'll chop and change whenever. <laughs> so I'll put that there, sort of like that. <clears throat> and I think with this, as I say, um, I'm just gonna kind of drape it somehow over the top. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but. I'll get it to stick to the sides because it is a suction cup. Okay. There. Probably won't stay stuck, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just kind of leaving it like that for now. And um, 
if there's any other bits and bobs that I want to put in there I will but everything's been cleaned it's all fresh and it's all ready to go as you can see here I've got a few little bits and bobs on top of Australia's tank but I'm gonna move all that stuff and then put my new baby's tank right there I know it's not the prettiest but I'm gonna just leave that thing there and um, yeah so this is the little terrarium also I've got my Pegasus horses which I absolutely love um, as well but yeah let's look inside so yeah you can see that little uh, black hide at the back there that little cave one water bowl and uh, obviously substrate and uh, foliage so yeah that's it for now so I'm excited for my new little baby coming as you can see that's the little terrarium behind me um, I finished for now but uh, yeah so I'm really excited for uh, this little new baby of mine to arrive I keep calling it a baby because I don't want to give too much away because I'm going to do another video when he she gets here oh yes and just to say I've not set up the thermostat and heat mat yet I'll do that when he she gets here so yeah so if you enjoyed that video please like and subscribe and if you have any questions um, please pop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them but for now from myself and Kadatius it is goodbye and I will see you next time thanks very much for watching